So Kendrick Lamar had some praise for Jack Harlow regarding his latest album. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX. And check this out. Jack Harlow has a lot of fans around the world, and one of those fans seems to be Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick recently gave Jack his flowers on his latest album, Jackman. Harlow spoke to the Rap Radar podcast in an episode that dropped on Wednesday, June 15th, and he revealed the praise from his musical peers helped him overcome some of the frustrations he felt from his biggest detractors, who often accuse him of cultural appropriation or being a culture vulture. Yeah, I think you have to have passion. I think you have to be a fan. You have to be a fan of the genre and love it. I love the craft. I love chasing getting better mm. coming off of come home like of course there's some frustrations with not feeling understood but it's also exciting to think okay let me see how i can get better i don't think it's the worst thing in the world for people to say you have room to improve mm. Fuck, okay let's get after it how involved uh, were dj drama and don cannon on this project spiritually heavily i mean I, I was really excited to play them the music mm. but i did a lot of it on my own kind of remotely Cannon's always a mentor for me. We talk hip hop. But of course, there was just a lot of excitement in recording the songs and thinking, damn, I can't wait for them to hear this shit because I know they're going to like it. And sure enough, it resonated. I don't know. I feel a kinship to them, but I did. I picked the beats. Mm -hmm. I spent those times. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of solitude on this project. So they didn't know that you were creating this project? They knew I was in the studio, oh, okay. but we didn't. we weren't planning all right, let's get a 10 track concise. You know, you was ready to go, go. Like he was yeah, and we all agreed together, let's go. Mm. I don't know, it's exciting, man. Like, fuck, like I played it by the book so much last year. I did it right, I did the press run. I created moments and this time around, let's just enjoy. It's bro. Bro. He's full of Let's it's just give up. him the music. Like, I don't give a fuck what comes with it. Let's just give him the music. Like and you said two weeks have passed and I just want to say the love and respect I felt from not only my peers, but from y'all, the fans. The folks that have supported me from the beginning, it feels fucking amazing. I never felt so connected to the people listening to my music. Thank you. What inspired you to say that? I just have been getting messages and running into people on the street. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing I wanted to get back to, man, not that it was gone, but like, as much as I enjoy like young teenage screams, there is something so exciting about somebody coming up to you and say, yo, your shit is fucking dope. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying one's better than the other, but I think for this album, like I was really excited about the idea that some dude would come up to me that loves rap and says, yo, I just listened to your album and it was phenomenal. I felt it. Like that's really what we do it for. That's why I got started is just so a motherfucker would tell me I'm dope. Yeah, That's the best feeling in the world. And fucking, I ran into Kendrick at the Met and it was like a few days after the album dropped, and he was like, yo, like, this is the best move you could have made. This shit yeah. is incredible. And just gave me enough props. I could have just fucking walked home. I didn't even want to meet anyone else. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the best, one of the best feelings on earth. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar isn't the only rapper to give Jack Harlow his flowers either. Earlier this month, Ludacris gave his official co-sign to Jack Harlow for flipping Fergie's 2007 track Glamorous on his song First Class and claims that he did it justice. When talking to GQ, Ludacris said, I feel like some hip hop purists don't appreciate songs that they feel like aren't that old being sampled. How do you feel about that? Man, I'm I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? How can I not be okay with it? You know, he he's... I'm doing shows and people, there's a whole new generation that is identifying with the record, even if they may not have heard my verse, just because Jack Harlow was doing it over. And I feel like he did it justice. It'd be different if it was trash. It's not trash, you know what I mean? Jack Harlow did it extreme justice and I like the record. So I, can, I understand where purists are coming from, but if you, don't, if you don't accept what's new, you'll become your own worst enemy. You don't have to necessarily like it, but you gotta embrace it. So what do you think about Jack Harlow getting props from people like Kendrick Lamar and Ludacris? Let us know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.